Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. All right, let's go ahead and talk about a crappy situation, the RV style toilet. I wanna go ahead and give you some tips on the toilet here. First off, these are not like our home toilets where they're made of porcelain in a lot of cases. Some of these are plastic. It's kind of scary for someone who's average size like me sitting on these things. Ain't that right? Yep. So we want to make sure that we're careful when we sit on these things. A couple things I want to bring up to you, especially those of you who are looking at winterizing. And that is, of course, the back of the toilet. The back of our toilet, we actually have what's called a vacuum breaker. Now, this vacuum breaker does some cool stuff. It doesn't allow some of our black tank water coming up and mixing with a fresh tank. Isn't that kind of gross that our fresh tank water, our fresh water actually mixes in with our black water. That all happens right here. But during, during winter, if we winterize and we forget to go ahead and whether it be we flushing our lines out or we actually putting in some type of food grade antifreeze, we forget the condition of the toilet. The back of the toilet right here, we have a vacuum breaker. This vacuum breaker will hold water. And if we don't winterize this right here, what'll take place is that water will freeze break our vacuum breaker, we're none the wiser. We go ahead and we dewinterize. We take our rig out and as soon as we decide to go ahead and use the crapper, we push down on this, we got water spraying all over the back of the wall. Some of you watching this, you know what's happened to you. You know who you are. Just know that this is here. We wanna make sure that if we winterize, that whenever we're actually running our food grade antifreeze through there, we hold this down till the pink comes out. Once we got pink water, go ahead and close it. Um, let's go ahead and talk about this, that seal right down here. When we actually open up our toilet, don't know if you can see it, we got that blade. Right, right above that blade, we have a, uh, a little rubber seal. What we wanna do is, is that the way these um, toilets are actually made is, is there's just a little bit of water that actually rests on top of that blade. What that does, that prevents any of those gases coming up. If you got a situation where that water is seep seeping through, we want to go ahead and get a little kit and replace that. Yep, you got to put on your gloves. You're going to open this up. You're going to replace that seal. You don't have to replace the whole toilet. If you want to be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form, and start your business today. So just having good maintenance on these things, they'll last you a good two or six flushes. Right. I mean, that's all that they are. They're plastic, they're cheap. Shouldn't put that in there. I got nothing. Good. What's that? Oh yeah, I guess we did. That would be good. Hello. <laughs> Let's talk toilets. Flush. Cookie Monster hungry. Last thing I want to say on these, RV style, ref uh, this is not a refrigerator. That'd be kind of gross. <laughs> so let's just say this in closing. If you're a thinker when you're on the stinker, just be careful and flush right.